Why, hello, fellow Patriots, and welcome to another mid review episode on the Patriot Dad channel where we can discuss current events, modern issues, and culture, all while keeping it as real as possible. Today, for Patriot Dad Reacts episode 9, we will be reviewing Dr. Yuval Bibi's song, Safe and Secure. I have listened to this song before, but it has been quite a while since I've heard it, and I would love to do a reaction for it and for you. Let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? All right, let's get going. No matter what just happened, we want you to be sure you're a paranoid hysteric and it's safe and secure. Nice uh, violin to start off with, and we're paranoid and hysteric. All right, let's see where this is going to go. Be interested to see what the topic of this video is. We'll see if we can decipher that, and we'll let Dr. Beebe tell us if we're correct. Dumpster fire burning, we've got the friggin' cure, the monopoly of wisdom, and it's safe and secure. Hey, hey, 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 hey safe and secure. Concerned about the balance, you have no friggin' clue. We've got progressive policy, and we're coming for you. I have no clue. We've got progressive policies, and we're coming for you. Okay, this seems so far like we're talking about government or some sort of organization that thinks they know better than us and that we owe, and that what they're going to do is going to help us be safe and secure. I think we're on to something. Let's see. You want to post a site when you have it a freaking right? We've got Twitter by the balls with zero oversight. Hey, hey. A Twitter by the balls with no oversight. I mean, Twitter is now X, but that's fine. I don't really like the name anyway, so I'm fine if we just keep calling it Twitter. But they've got Twitter by the balls, so this seems definitely like government. Hey, zero oversight. Hey, hey, zero oversight. Hey, hey, zero oversight. Hey, hey, zero oversight. Screw your First Amendment, screw your freedom too. Put on your friggin' mask and be a pet in our zoo. We're screw your First Amendment. So no freedom of speech, no freedom of assembly, all of the good stuff. And we will be doing a video in the future on Bill of Rights. So we'll get into that a little bit. But put on your mask and... Yep. We're coming for your children. We love them more than you. We're sexualized and sterilized and nothing you can do. Hey. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm going to sexualize my children and they know better than me. This definitely sounds like progressives in government. And they know better than me. This definitely sounds like the government. So I live near Loudoun County, right? I'm in West Virginia, out in the panhandle. The Loudoun County school board whole fiasco in the last year or so has just shown that all levels of government, it's not just the federal government, but all levels of government are trying to come for you, your children, and trying to control as much of it as possible. The real gross saying is that the progressives don't have kids, they have your kids. It's coming way too true. And I have two small children. Like this song is, hits close to home. So far though, I like it where I'm enjoying it. Good lyrics. Let's keep going. Hey, hey, nothing you can do. 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 We monopolize morality. We'll tell you what to do. We think we're home a day. Yes, it's free Bible too. You please. Hey, hang on. I gotta gonna go back. We're gonna listen to those lyrics again. Hey, nothing you can do. Hey, hey, nothing you can do. I mean, there's something we can do. We need to start doing it. We need to get more involved in our elections. We need to get more involved in our government, our school boards, and other things to try and keep government and, and these uh, entitled folks that think that they know how to control our lives more than we do. We've got to start working against them. The best way to do that is with the system we've got. Like, you know, you hear a lot of people talking about revolution and all kinds of other things. It's like, that is not the preferred method of fixing things. They've been unfixing things for over a century now using the processes in place. It's going to take time to undo them, but we need to operate in those systems. If we start going outside of those systems, things are going to devolve and get significantly worse very fast. And that is not preferred. So don't let anyone tell you that I am advocating for some sort of violence or any kind of overthrow or revolution, because I'm not. That is not preferred. We need to operate within the system, and we need to start moving the needle in the right direction. Hey, hey, nothing you can do. We monopolize morality. We'll tell you what to do. We think we're home a day. Yes, it's screw your Bible too. You screw my Bible? Heck no. You stay away from my Bible. I mean, we keep retranslating it and having new versions of it. Not a big fan. I actually kind of like just like King James, New King James. Uh, a lot of these other like New Living Translation and all these others. Like, I'm not even a fan of that. But they're going to control my morality. Not a fan. 
Leaves are all beneath us. We're better than you all. We've got the friggin' experts. Hey, you live us their call. Hey, hey, how you live us their call. Hey, hey, how you live us their call. I mean, how you live is their call. That That is how they are currently operating. They are operating under the assumption that we have to live under their rules and their, their words, their morality. Everything that, that is being pushed on us is being pushed on us by a group that thinks that they know better than us how to live our own lives. I, I just disagree. Leave me alone. Let me live my life the best way I can. I've got a pretty decent set of morals and values that are founded in the Bible and in traditionalism. Like, leave me alone. Let me live my life. I'm productive. I don't, I don't need the, the help of government. Thank you. Hey, hey, how you live is their call. Hey, hey, how you live is their call. So whatever just happened, you will be rest assured that it's all just mostly peaceful and it's safe and secure. Oh, mostly peaceful. That is... The protests were mostly peaceful. Just ignore the fire and destruction in the background, right? That is definitely taking shots at the last couple of years. So, yeah. Let's go back a few seconds. Lord, that it's all just mostly peaceful. And it's safe and secure. Hey, hey, 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 safe and secure. I really like the bass in his voice at the end when he's singing those low notes. But that looks like it's it for the song. So we are going to finish our quick commentary here safe and secure so being told that they're going to make everything safe we're giving up so many of our freedoms for safety i mean look at the usa patriot act all of these changes to our lives that happened post 9 11 or post any other large tragedy seems to be done in the name of safety and security whether it's for you whether it's for your kids or whether it's for anything else safety and security is always the lever that they use to force large change not a big fan. Other than protecting me from an invader from another country, I don't really need the federal government or even the state government's help in keeping me safe and secure. I can do that myself. My second amendment, as well as my first amendment, pretty much ensures that I can do it myself. I exercise my rights as I can, and I educate myself on my rights as well. I have an entire playlist on our founding documents, and I'm adding to that every week. So. Thank you for watching this reaction video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you're notified when I upload new content. This weekend's video will be the conclusion for our series on the OG Constitution. We are going to be adding to it with a minimum of a video on the Bill of Rights. Might take more than one video. There's a lot of content there. But it's been great rereading the Constitution and going over it with y'all to refamiliarize myself with both it and the other founding documents. We have done a video on Magna Carta as well as on the Declaration of Independence. So if you wish, check out that playlist for the founding series. And in general, I hope everyone takes care and has a great week. God bless and bye for now. Go ahead and check out one of the links on the screen now to either subscribe to the channel and see the rest of the videos of the channel or one of the carefully selected videos that you may wish to see that YouTube has used its algorithm to select for you.